Hello, happy Sunday. I'm heading to Sydney tomorrow for the week, which I do every month. In case you don't know, I moved from Sydney to Melbourne about a year ago, almost a year ago now, and my work is still in Sydney. So I head up there every month to go hang out with the team, which is always fun. And that's coming up again this week. I thought I could do a little iPhone vlog, which I haven't done in a while, but I do have the new iPhone 14 Pro Max and I do want to test it out, especially vlogging. So I thought I'll take you with me. It's Sunday today. I'm heading into the city here in Melbourne to get a few things that I need for the week, but I hope you enjoy following along. When I'm fighting, would you fight with me? Would you dive in when the water's deep? Just heading to shop number two now. I need something from the Apple store and I thought there would be one in the CBD in Melbourne, but apparently not. So I'm heading now to a mall that is not far from here to get the second thing that I need. Okay, my God, I'm at the shopping mall that I usually go to and it's, I think the second largest shopping mall in the southern hemisphere and Sundays are just absolutely crazy uh, it took me I guess half an hour to find a car park and it's busy it's just busy but I got what I came here for so let's head home and then I'll show you what I got okay let's do a haul quickly because that's what people do right all right, so I had to go to two shops today and the first one is my favorite camera shop, one of my favorite camera shops. And I got a little camera sling. I do have one already, which is like 10 liter capacity, but I needed a smaller one because I got a new carry-on suitcase. Let me show you. So I got this suitcase now when I for when I go to Sydney and the great thing is with this is that it's got a laptop sleeve because I always have my 16 inch MacBook Pro with me and I always thought I need to take a backpack if I take that I need something else that I need to check in but with this I now can fly carry on only this suitcase is from a company called July which is an Australian company I think maybe even Melbourne based yes because I think I went to their headquarters to pick that up. But I needed something that is small enough that sort of goes through as a purse uh, in addition to this. Um, so I don't get called out when I'm at the airport. So I thought I'd go with this new Peak Design camera sling, which is six liter capacity. And with this, I can just either put some of my travel stuff or I could also fit my camera or my drone in case I'm taking it with me to Sydney. Let's open this up quickly. Here it is, Peak Design Everyday Sling. And the second thing I got is this, and you could think that this is another iPhone, but it's not because I'm filming with that already. I got that last week, video up here. So what I've got here is the new AirPod Pros. This is the second generation, which was released this week. And I actually never had AirPods. I use currently just very cheap wireless headphones. And the reason why I got those is that I, every time I go to Sydney or travel, I always bring my large Bose noise cancelling headphones and I thought maybe for at least domestic travel I could use these instead, instead of bringing the big headphones, oh, which are here by the way. So I'm excited to test them out. This is not really an unboxing video so I'm not gonna bore you with that, but yep, AirPod Pros. Something else that I love about this suitcase is not only has it the laptop sleeve here, what's great about this being at the front is that if you're going through security, you can just open it up and pull your laptop out and it's pretty easy and you don't have to open the whole suitcase. 
But the other thing is that you can also, there's this little latch here, and you can just pull it, and then you've got the sleeve by itself. For example, when I'm going to Sydney and going into the office, I can just take the sleeve with me uh, for the day. It attaches pretty easily, but you do need to sort of use a little bit of force to get it off. So, which is kind of good, makes it more secure. Good morning, I'm just getting ready to leave. So every time I'm heading up to Sydney, I'm getting up really early, around five, to head to the airport because I need to go into the city first with the train and then um, go on a bus to the airport, which takes about an hour all up. So let's go. made it um, it's 10 30 now I left the house at 6 so it usually takes around four to four and a half hours door to door um, but yeah I arrived it's always so great to come back to Sydney I just love it here and I'm excited to see the team the next morning I forgot to vlog after I arrived yesterday I'm just heading into the office I always stay with friends in one of my favorite suburbs in Sydney when I'm here uh, and fun fact it's the first suburb that I lived in when I moved to Australia Alright guys, it is day three, halfway through the week already. I went out with friends yesterday, which was really fun. Like my days are kind of packed always when I'm here, which is fun. But also, I usually try to go at least once to the beach while I'm here and also try to go to the opera house or to the harbor. And I didn't manage to do that the last two times I was here, but this week I really want to do it. So hopefully tonight I can head over to the Opera House to also take a few photos with the iPhone at night, which I want to do for a few days now, um, and maybe tomorrow morning to the beach, but let's see. Let's see how it goes. This horizon, it's shining, seems the daylight knows this is our time now. How cool, I never knew that that was here. Five years, 
of living in Sydney and I never knew that there was a walkway where you can just look at the Harbour Bridge. That's amazing. I made it! I said I would go to the Opera House and to the Harbour Bridge and to the Harbour today and I did with Rania's help. <laughs> Every time I come here, I'm so amazed because it kind of makes me realize or remember that I literally live on the other side of the world. I just, that's, I mean, you know, so many people where I come from would love to see this and I get to see this, I used to get to see this every day. Now I get to see this when I'm here in Sydney once a month. Sydney showing its best side for my last day today. It was a fun week, as always. As you saw, I went to the Opera House on Wednesday. Yesterday, I went to the cinema with friends, and today is the last day. It's raining, so I'm just waiting here undercover for it to stop, and then I'm gonna head back to the airport later and, you know, go home. Go home to Melbourne. I hope you like what you saw coming from the iPhone 14. Pro Max, which this vlog was filmed on. So I think I'm gonna finish this video here because I'm just gonna insert some clips of my journey home later. But thanks so much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you wanna stick around. And I hope you're well, hope you have a great week and I'll see you soon. Take care.